Okay, so we're here in Montecito, California, and we're looking inland. So this uh, hillside was burnt during the Thomas Fire. Right after the Thomas Fire, there's not a lot of living vegetation. We have the hydrophobic soils that happened from the intense fire heat. Uh, and um, then when we got in January of 2018, when we get these, these rain events, that water can't percolate in the soil. We don't have any things to stop the over surface flow of that water. And so when we have a very intense dumping, that water just acts as a big uh, racetrack and all that water runs down to the bottom of the creek, bottom of the watershed, pulling up dead trees and all this and stuff, that kind of stuff. We get temporary dams that form and then the water builds up and then we get this big explosion when those fail and we get a, a large wall of both mixed water, sediment, debris, boulders, all kinds of stuff. And, and that's what uh, causes the destruction here in Montecito. So as a mitigation measure, this has now been put in. So we're recording this in February of 2024, and we've just had a bunch of uh, atmos atmospheric rivers dump. And if we start to look down now at this basin that we've installed, what you'll see is um, a lot of dirt, right? So this, this is now a, a structure that can capture when stuff comes out of the creek. And so as we get a little bit lower here, what you'll see is we have, uh, so this is capturing the sediment, so then you're gonna, we can come in and clean out the sediment. But then also notice you're starting to see these um, metal uh, structures. Um, and so these guys are acting as essentially catchers for large stuff. So call it a tree trunk, call it a branch, call it a, a whole entire ripped up tree or other structure. This will tend to snag that stuff and not allow it to, um, uh, to go any further. If it were to go further, right? You see right here now, now where we're standing right here, now, now here we're at the road. And so we don't want this stuff to be all contained here. We don't want that debris to get into the culvert or to get into the um, subterranean uh, or, or the, the underground uh, passageways, the, the channels, we want to keep it out. And so that's this debris base. And so a great response, but one that requires a continual maintenance. Dr. Heyrich, do you want to chime in about anything, about any of the, any of the hydrology or anything right here? No. <laughs> no? Okay. So that's the Randall Basin. That's the Randall Basin here in Montecito. <laughs> Excellent.